tried to get out in a red pickup. But with engine noise driving zombies nuts. I doubt he made it far. Yep. Didn't make it far. Drop something. The key must open something close by. Still, better than ending up in that pool.
didn't matter to me. I love seeing you out there on the big screen. Miss fucking girl boss herself. Just smashing those awards. Man, I was so proud. You were, huh? Didn't feel that way when you left. I was a... Hello? This is Hannah again. One of the Bobcats. You there? Hi, it's Amy. Rav get back safe? Rav's back here, yeah. He's holed up in the garage, producing gross smells with zombie flesh and caustic eggs and, and giggling to himself. Boys and their toys. You were so helpful with him that I was wondering if you could go find another of my homicidal little ducklings at Monarch Studios. Sure. Always nice to meet new people who aren't trying to eat me. Appreciate it. Bozzy went to Soundstage 5 to raid some sort of cutting-edge pyrotechnic setup that a film student was raving about. Bored the rest of us to tears, but Boz got all psyched up about it. Boys in there... Oh, wait. <laughs> they already said that. Said he was stuck last time he checked in. Sounded kind of embarrassed, which means he's probably in a lot more trouble than he's admitting. Then I better get my ass over there. <sighs> you must be exhausted. Guess what? Captain. Like a movie. Who would do that? The smart option, but otherwise I've come all this way for nothing. Yo, hey, you down there, Hannah sends you. Can you clear out these deadheads so we can talk? about hey Hannah said to expect you up here hi having fun up there this is where the FX controls are Thing is, when I climbed up here, I didn't notice that I had half a starlet with her teeth sunk into my shin guard. 
She chewed through a bunch of wires trying to get at me before I finished her off. Relentless fuckers, aren't they? The obnoxion here is that I'm trying to reverse engineer the setup they have for these D-Day effects. But they're all tangled, and I've already set off one quiet onset alarm in a random blast. So now we have unwanted extras pouring in, including a big, gross, postulate fucker. Don't sweat it. I'm a one-woman war on zombie kind. There's some mortar controls in the Sanger at the top of that hill, I think. Between those and the stuff up here, we can probably make the beach a dangerous place to be for the zombies. But maybe stay up there, cause I don't want to trigger something by accident and, like, blow your legs off. Yeah, I'm still quite attached to my left foot. I think I hooked up a trigger for some mortars. Either that or smoke. Can you try one of those switches out and see if it worked? Ah, oh, shit! More extras coming! Stay up on that hill! Okay, the left mortar's reloaded. You're kicking ass! Keep it up! But there's more coming, so watch yourself! Right hand mortar's good to go when you are! The ones along the barbed wire are good to go. Careful! The mortars on my right, on your left, they're ready. Danger close mortars, ready when you are. Set off the right side mortars at will, Sarge. See, we have a growing audience. Let's have some fun! <laughs> Left mortars are locked and loaded. <laughs> the danger clothesline of mortars is hooked up.
on my right. On your left, they're ready. Danger close, mortars. Ready when you are. Mortars are locked and loaded. You were the business, and she was right. Stellar fucking work there. <laughs> we made a good team. And you bought me enough time to make sense out of this spaghetti wires up here. <laughs> what did you find? New ideas and new know-how. Some of which might apply to you, in fact. I've got an idea for something to gussy up your weapons. Well, I guess that's a good thing, right? Okay, cool. Think you can make it back alone? Oh, yeah. And the Venice Canals are gonna get a lot more dangerous to deadheads as soon as I'm back there.
Ronnie had something I wanted. Smell him worse now. He's dead. Now there's a sight for sore eyes. Pull up a seat. Hey, Mr. Sinclair. You settling in okay? Company's a marked improvement here. That's for damn sure. Just a pity that the tasteful Miss John left the stocking of the liquor cabinet to her tasteless hound of a husband. Ha ha ha! Oh no, how will you cope? Why settle for less, I say? These good people welcome me into their home. They deserve the best. I happen to know that slacker up the hill was holding on to some vintage art killing whiskey as an investment. And when those internet kids moved in, I gave them a bottle of Maison Saint-Vivant that's older than they are. <laughs> if only some kind soul would help an old man out, I could raise everyone's spirits. <laughs> Well, much as I hate to spoil your party, I think you'll just have to stick to the moonshine for now. <laughs> Get me those drinks, and I swear to you, I'll make it worth your time. I've got something special that'll make those mealy-mouthed, undead bastards slither back into their graves. Hmm. Persuasive, aren't you? <laughs> oh, fine, it won't take me long. But you better have something good for me. I knew I could rely on you, kid. Godspeed. 